We are back now with news that may surprise about 140 million people. That's roughly the number who use Android and other smartphones and probably had no idea until now that there's software inside those phones that may be tracking not only where they are, but also nearly everything they do. Shalom, and welcome to another episode of GMS Prophecy Soup. Now, today's title is called Smartphones for Dumbass Americans. And the reason why I decided to call this that title is because it's very fitting. In the past, well, in the recent years, I'd say within the last decade, especially since 9-11, <clears throat> you stupid people have basically handed over all of your rights. And since then, the American government, the Illuminati, your leaders, your masters of this government, of this corporation called America, have been passing all these laws and pulling all these tricks from under their sleeves that are taking all of your people's rights away, all of your privacy away. And they don't even have to do any work. They're letting you do all the work for them. Now, today's topic is mainly going to go into the so-called smartphones. Because the smartphone is the elite's biggest tool to spy on you. That's Big Brother's biggest asset right now is the so-called smartphones. So we're going to go into uh, today, we're going to go play a couple clips. I'm not going to do a lot of talking. I'm just going to mainly be a playing a couple clips that are basically going to break down how they're using these smartphones to gather information, basically to build a profile on every so-called American citizen. And they know everything about you, who your family are, who your friends are, what you like to do on the internet, what your fetishes are, what, you, what nasty little secrets you might have. They can turn your camera on and off, turn your voice recorder on and off. All right, and they, uh, there's a new uh, software they've been using. It's called Carrier IQ, which transmits all this information to them. It comes pre-installed on all smartphones. All right, they take that information and they um, they sell it to third-party organizations to other countries. And Google is a main. Um, a main tool in that. If you notice, Google has taken over everything. They're taking over. Well, they took over YouTube. They're the main search engine out there. Um, so let's just get right into these clips. And uh, I'll be back. Shalom. The blowing website WikiLeaks has begun releasing sensational information on the multi billion dollar global spying industry. Uh, the database contains hundreds of documents shining a light on the methods being used by secret services all over the world. Artie's Laura Smith now joins us live with details. Well, Laura, go on then. Tell us all about these spy files, will you? Well, at the moment, there are 287 of them that have already been released, but that's just the beginning, according to WikiLeaks. And they detail what WikiLeaks is calling mass surveillance that's going on on a global scale. They say that 10 years ago, this is an industry that really didn't exist, but that 9-11 provided essentially a license for companies to start developing spying systems that basically affect all of us. Uh, and now there are 160 companies in 20 different countries all uh, developing this software, and it's an industry that's completely completely unregulated. And just to sort of bring it down to the basics, Julian Assange said, you know, he did a quick survey around the room in this press conference that we were at this morning, and he said, uh, who here owns an iPhone or uses Gmail or has a BlackBerry? And everyone put, puts their hands up, and he says, basically, you know, you, you are under surveillance, and that, that is w without a doubt. Uh, these systems are able to spy on email. They're able to track, uh, track what you look at on the Internet. They're able to track keystrokes of what you search for in a Google Google search, for example, and that telephones are inherently tracking devices in their own right. You're carrying around a device that enables people to know where you are at any given time. There's also software that can be remotely uh, installed on your telephone uh, to record conversations that you have and also, amazingly, to take photographs uh, of you and whoever you're with and, and send them to, to whoever wants to see them, the relevant agencies. The CIA apparently has is using software 
which can uh, detect a voice print and match it instantly uh, and, and know who it is you're speaking to, identify callers on the telephone. And in fact, Assange has been working on this for some time and he told me when I interviewed him some months ago that Facebook was a perfect tool for the CIA, that, that the CIA could essentially track anything that was going on via Facebook. Uh, this is software that's being made by Western companies and then sold to countries which include, according to WikiLeaks, uh, Tunisia, Syria, Egypt and Libya. And you can look for yourselves and see these documents. They're, they're all online at wikileaks.org uh, forward slash spy files. Now, if your brothers paid attention to that clip, the lady kept mentioning CIA over and over again. Now, the reason I'm bringing that out is because it leads to my very next important point. I mentioned earlier in a video about Google, how Google is one of the main avenues that the Illuminati is using to spy on these dumbass Americans. Now, throughout the recent years, CIA and Google have become very close friends. And if you look in this article that we have on the screen right now, it's titled Exclusive Google CIA Invest in Future of Web Monitoring. And I'll read two paragraphs from it. It says the investment arms of the CIA and Google are both backing a company that monitors the web in real time and says it uses that information to predict the future. The company is called Recorded Future and it scours tens of thousands of websites, blogs, and Twitter accounts to find the relationships between people, organizations, actions, and incidents, both present and still to come. In a white paper, the company says its temporal analytics engine which is uh, what you're watching on the screen right now. This is the actual software that's being used to make this so-called predicted future of so-called terrorist attacks. And remember, Google is who they use to gather all this information from Facebook, from Gmail accounts, from YouTube accounts. So basically anything you do on the internet is being uh, spied on and is being recorded. It says, um, in a white paper, the company says its temporal analytics engine goes beyond search by looking at the invisible links between documents that talk about the same or related entities and events. Now, another warning for you, brothers. These newer phones are coming out with these 8 megapixel cameras, these 5 megapixel cameras. They take really nice, crispy, clear pictures. But it's not for your enjoyment. It's for the... Illuminati's enjoyment so they could get nice crispy clear pictures of what you're doing and they're even putting on these phones now something called um, front facing cameras where you could do video chat so all these so called technology that they're coming out with people are thinking oh I gotta go get this new phone oh this is so cool this brand new technology but the technology is not for you it's for them but my point is they have something called geotagging on these phones every time you take a picture it tags the picture with the time and location of your phone I mean of the picture and it can actually go on a map or use a radar and zoom in right to the address and the place that you took that picture from so you brothers uh, need to be careful of that you know for those of you that like to use your camera and to take a you know video with your cell phones. Archie is sitting down with Stephen Rombaum, founder and CEO of Polarium Inc., a worldwide investigative agency. Steve, thank you very much for sitting down to speak with RT today. My pleasure. For more than a decade, you've been uh, warning the mass public, or at least informing them, that privacy is dead. Get over it. And in that time, people have consciously been putting more and more information about themselves online. What do you think this has done to contribute to your message of privacy being dead? Well, the truth is people care less and less about privacy, or at least they act as if they do. The greatest amount of data that's being compiled on each of us today is self-contributed. Uh, your location, your likes, your dislikes, your religion, your sexual orientation, uh, how you vote, where you live, who your friends are, who your family is, uh, what music you listen to, what books you read, all sorts of things that frankly are, are a window into your soul. All of these things are self-contributed. I can go to your Facebook page 
and obtain information equivalent to what people would pay a private investigator $10,000 a few years ago to go out and gather. You have consensually put it up there for the whole world. And, and that includes, of course, the, the holy grail of investigation, which is location and photos. You are constantly reporting your location, you're constantly posting photos. Google, in fact, does have a relationship with the CIA. Google has a very close relationship with the NSA. Uh, Google has a back door that they make available to the Secret Service and to the FBI. So let's talk about Carrier IQ for a minute. Carrier IQ is pre-installed software that comes on every so-called smartphone. And what it does is it's a key logger, meaning every time you type something in your phone, whether it's a website or whether it's a text message, it logs it and it updates the information to your carrier, to your cell phone carrier. Before you even have a chance, before you hit send to send a text message out, they already know what you typed. When you use your camera, they know when you're taking pictures. They can access your camera. Basically, they have con complete control over your phone. And it's a spy, it's their personal spy right in your pocket. But you brothers that's in the truth, that believe in the Most High and His Son, you have nothing to worry about. The Lord said, no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. This is just saying, doing what he got to do. Just like the scriptures say, he's going to come as a roaring lion as we get closer to the end times. And basically, he's trying to be like the Most High. You know, the scriptures say that the Lord's eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. And also says uh, that the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. So Esau is trying to so-called beat the Most High. But if you know how we know, that's not how this story is going to end. So I'm going to leave you brothers with a couple of scriptures that you may read. Job 14 and 5, Ephesians 2 and 2, Isaiah 54, 17, 1 Peter 5 and 8. And with that, I'm going to say, bless the Most High and His Son, double honors to the elders, and to you brothers out there, Shalom.